I probably know what you're thinking looking at the title of this video and it coming from me. Yes, this is not a car. No, it's not gonna be a car. And yes, I'm gonna build it. So stick with it. Basically, it's just like any other model kit, uh, car, tank, boat, plane, whatever. The same techniques can be handled on every single subject. So I'm gonna try and build this boat using the same paints I always use and using the same materials I always use and the same techniques just to see what I can come up with. And um, I just wanted to build something else other than a car for once. So I took out this small boat just to get into the groove and figure out if I like doing this or not. So with the main part of the boat now sanded and ready for paint almost, I did a small test fit for uh, the top sections, seeing if they would fit properly or need some small adjustment. Turned out just a little bit of trimming and sanding was needed in order for the parts to fit just fine. On the side of uh, the bottom section that's in the water, there also needed to be some engines or some props applied so I applied the propellers and glued them in, and then I started gluing the halves of the exhaust or uh, the steam pipes. Not really sure what that is, but I'm still a car builder and don't know stuff about boats, so moving on. Um, there was a bit of a gap between uh, the propellers and the main boat part, so I filled it in with some super glue to act like a filler. Also on the bottom side I applied some of the super glue for a couple of small dents and holes that were there and just to fill them up. Instead of using the Zero Paints primer I kind of felt like using some Tamiya primer as it was really quick and easy and it was already getting kind of late and dark so this was the quickest way to go. I simply applied two coats waiting about 10 minutes in between and with the second coat finished I let it dry for at least 24 hours before moving on to painting the rest of the boat with some zero paints. For the main color um, there is mainly black and it also needed some white and red so it was easiest to paint the white first, mask that off, move on to the red and then finally paint the black. I applied about two coats of white, two coats of red, and two coats of black, waiting about five to ten minutes in between, making sure it's properly dry for the second coat to be applied onto it. Since the white needed to be masked off in order for the red to be applied, I let it dry for a good two hours before applying some masking tape on it, making sure I'm not pressing too hard on it, just gently applying it to it, and then moved on to applying two coats of red.
again when the second coat of red was applied, I let it dry for a good two hours before gently masking it off and then moving on to the third color, being black, which is not a color. After the second coat of black was applied, I let it dry for about two to three minutes, just cleaning some stuff up and removing the masking tape. I'm doing this straight away to remove uh, any of the masking tape sticking to the paint, as it was still a tiny bit wet and not fully cured. Well, it's not wet, just not fully cured. So removing the masking tape quicker makes sure that the paint doesn't stick to the masking tape itself and rips it all apart. Uh, in an ideal world, you would let it dry for a good three, maybe four hours in between coats, or uh, at least have a hotter temperature in the room so that the paint cures better by itself. But instead, just waiting two hours should be enough if you don't apply too much pressure to the masking tape. 